Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to my third video on Apache Hive. In this video, guys, I'll be talking about DDL commands. DDL stands for Data Definition Language, right? So we have uh, again inherited this uh, particular topic from your traditional SQL, in which you must have uh, like learned this DDL keyword, Data Definition Language. So if you are already familiar with that word, guys, it will be a quite easy uh, like things, uh, easy video for you to understand because the same keywords, same commands I'll be talking about again, but now this time around it will be under SQL. Let's start. Guys, like if you talk about DDL commands, we have a total six commands coming under this category. One is create, drop, truncate, alter, show, describe. Let's uh, do it one by one, right? The first keyword is create. Although I have already made use of create in my previous two videos when I have created the database and table, let's do it again because it's a part of the uh, part of this DDL. So let me create one database here. D3. Okay, done. So I'm done with my first create keyword. Uh, very simple, create database database name. And I can uh, now I'll be using the keyword use here. Why use? Because I want to use uh, this database as my default database for particularly for this session. So that whatever table I'll be creating now, it will be coming under this D3, right? Otherwise, guys, you know that you know that uh, that uh, default database name is default, right? Which I've already talked about in my first video. If you're not using this keyword use, right? The table which will be creating further, it'll be it'll be a part of default database okay which i don't want i want to be a part of d3 okay so guys uh, under this uh, d3 i want to create my first table which is simple table create table mm, tb tab one maybe and i'm keeping it simple with a single column id of type integer guys now i'll be populating this uh, table with the uh, uh, some values so let me create one file here. I've already opened up my text editor. Okay. Okay, tbvalues.txt, this is created. Let's load this file to get this table populated. Load data local in path give a proper location home amrit tb values dot txt into table tab one done let's check out guys i got my all the rows under my single column which is id right so my paper uh, my table is populated so i've done with my first keyword create although the load data is not a part of your uh, ddl it comes under the dml but the reason i have run this command because i want to perform some queries right so that you can see that how things working because if i'm my table doesn't have any data then the queries uh, you not understand that how queries work right which are with the queries which are going to discuss about ddl that's the reason although the load keyword is not a part of ddl okay so i'm done with the first keyword called create let's do the second one alter what i'll be doing guys this time around i'll be renaming this table with the alter just to show you the show you the use of alter alter table table name is tab one rename to table one simple so if i now run this table one it should me it should be showing me the answer because tab one now is no longer existed done so i'm done with my alter keyword guys although alter is a multifunctional command we can make use of alter for multiple things we can add a column let's do let's do it as well alter table then we have to use table name table one add columns i have to use columns it's not singular add columns then i have to specify some column name and their type let's suppose let's suppose it is care that's it 
So, okay, so I'm done with my alter keyword. So I uh, show, show you the two use cases of alter. One is renaming, one is adding columns, right? Okay, so I'm done with alter keyword as well, guys. We are done with two keywords so far, create and alter. Let's, let's discuss the third one, which is called describe. Describe keyword like uh, used to specify or describing the schema of a table. If I'm using describe, let me do it. Describe table one. Okay, it's showing me that uh, my table is having two columns, ID and call one. Okay, so this is called describe. That's it. So guys, describe is used to describe the schema of a table or maybe we can use the uh, describe for my, uh, for my view also, it can be used for database also, right? The next very simplest keyword we have is called show. So I can use show with tables, okay? Because under this database, which I'm currently using D3, I'm only having a single table. That's why it's showing a single entry. But if I'm using show databases, I'll be getting multiple entries because I've created a lot of databases, right? Dummy databases. So this is called show keyword. So I'm done with create, I'm done with alter, I'm done with describe, I'm done with uh, show. The last two keywords are truncate and drop, right? So truncate is, uh, I guess uh, you must be familiar with this keyword. It is that, it is that uh, command which will be keeping the uh, schema intact, but the data, the rows will be got deleted, right? This is the thing and the, that data, which I can't now, I can't uh, take that data back, okay? It, it will be forever deleted. So you, you can see that I'm in my table. I'm having this data because uh, you know that uh, the new column which I've added, it's having nothing, so it's showing null here. So let's drop it. Let, let's not drop it. Let's first truncate it. Then we'll be dropping at the last. So with the key, uh, with the command truncate table, table one, done. So again, uh, make use of that command. Select star from table one. It's showing nothing, right? So this is called truncate. So the schema is there. Schema is still intact, right? It is recognizing that table one is existing, but there's no data because data got like uh, deleted with the truncate keyword and it can't be we can't take that data back right it will be forever deleted the last keyword guys which we have which conclude this video it's drop which i've already have explained in the, in the previous video as well drop table table one right so guys again drop keyword can be used for database as well and for the table so both in both cases it can be used I hope guys, uh, you must have understood this uh, little uh, video on the DDL commands. I hope uh, you must have uh, like got get some knowledge out of it. And thanks for watching guys. See you next video.